Hi students, so welcome once again to Ohm Institute YouTube channel and this video we are going to discuss the ISRO 2025 SC electrical paper solutions. Already you have had discussions of uh, other subjects like electrical machines or power systems or etc. In this video I am going to cover up control systems and engineering mathematics. No questions of signal and system in electrical uh, uh, paper of ISRO. Okay, but uh, yeah, signal control systems and maths are there. Again, not uh, you know very big weightage I would say, but let us see. Controls, okay, some five, six questions are there. Okay, maths as always, maths again doubly easy, both in ISRO, the weightage is less. In GATE, of course, it is substantial, but in ISRO, anyways, maths weightage is less only if, if you see the previous trends also. Okay, starting with control systems. Okay, this is the number one question. The open loop DC gain of a unity negative feedback system with closed loop transfer function. Okay, so it's a unity negative feedback. Okay, and closed loop transfer function is given. So, this closed loop transfer function, suppose I call it as T, we know is G upon 1 plus G. Okay, unity feedback is there. So, G upon 1 plus G. Now, I want the DC gain of the open loop system, open loop DC gain. So, first of all, you have to get the G from this. Okay, so when you start solving G, it will be T upon 1 minus T, correct? You just rearrange and you will get this. Okay, so what is going to be the G function here? Okay, T that is the closed loop transfer function S upon S square plus 7S plus 13 upon 1 minus T, 1 minus S upon S square plus 7S plus 13. Okay, and then um, you will after simplifying, you will get S plus 4 upon S square plus 7S minus S okay plus 6s on solving it completely and 13 minus 4 9 now when you put s equal to j omega in frequency domain and putting omega equal to 0 okay that means s also equal to 0 you will get the gain as 4 by 9 and that is what is the dc gain for any dc or for any frequency analysis you have to first convert into what into the frequency domain that is then by putting s equal to j omega okay the final answer is 4 by 9 okay next one in the Bode plot of open loop transfer function with 8 poles and 5 zeros, the slope of the Bode plot at high frequency, the slope of the Bode plot at high frequency, you know, is given by the formula minus 20 P minus Z decibel per decade. Okay, so you have how many 8 poles, you have how many 5 zeros, the 8 minus 5 is 3. So, minus 20 into 3, that is minus 60 decibel per decade, minus 60 decibel per decade, straightforward option number. These direct questions, these are nothing but very direct questions. Next one, the number of roots in the left half of the S-plane for the system having the characteristic equation. Now, cubic equation, number one, you can say directly, cubic equation, inner minus outer is important. You can go for Routherbridge also. See, BC minus AD, okay, is going to be how much? Is it positive or not? Is it positive or not? You see. Now, what is BC? 35 AD okay BC means this 5 into 7 AD means this 1 into 3 okay it is positive okay so system will be stable system is stable means how many roots in LHP all three LHP they are asking in the left half so all three option number D all three will be in LHP only otherwise if you go for if you draw the, this conclusion is coming out of Routh array only okay or if you do this way if you draw the Routh array S cube S square the first two rows what are the S cube row? Alternate coefficients 1 and 7. S square row will have 5 and 3. Now, that is what the same calculation will come. Na? 5, 7, okay, minus 1 into 3. That is what? 35 minus 3, 32 by 5, last element 0. Then 32 by 5 into 3, divide by 32 by 5. So, 3 and 0. Okay, no sign change, no RHP root. Correct, na? You see this. Where do we see the sign change? First column, no sign change. So, no RHP root and no J omega root because there is no uh, auxiliary equation. For auxiliary equation, ROZ has to be there. So anyways, 3 LHP. Okay. This is one thing. No ROZ means no J omega roots because J omega roots is possible, okay, only with auxiliary equation. Otherwise, not. Okay. So, all three roots in LHP. Okay, that's what I told here also. Stable means all LHP roots. All means 3 here because it's a cubic equation, cubic system, third order system. Anyways, next question. Okay, simple. Match the following. List 1 with the list 2. Okay, S square plus 5S plus 4. Okay, uh, so, you know, whether the, it is under damped, undamped, over damped. So, you know, for the first case, okay, you just pick up this term. What is the omega N square? This one is 4. So, what is omega N is 2. Then, the 2 zeta omega n term is 5, 2 into zeta 
into omega n which was 2 is 5. So, what is the net value of zeta? 5 by 4. Okay, zeta greater than 1. Okay, zeta greater than 1 is over damned. Okay. The next one, very clearly, there is no S coefficient. That means zeta is 0 or you can say roots are going to be pure imaginary under root of minus 100. Now, zeta 0 means system is marginally stable or the response of the uh, system is undamped. Okay. And this one definitely, okay, is going to give 2 into zeta into, let me write down quickly omega n, which is going to be under root 2 and this is 2. Zeta is 1 by root 2. Okay zeta less than 1. So, this one is under damped. Okay. So, the a1 is over damped. That is going to match with 3. Okay. This is undamped matching with 1 and this is under damped matching with 2. 3, 1, 2. ABC, 3, 1, 2. 3, 1, 2. 3, 1, 2 is there. Option number D. As per the sequence, 3, 1, 2. That is it. Done. 3, 1 and 2. Next question. Laplace transform of cos AT minus B. Simple one. Okay, this is control or maths or signal. This question can be placed anywhere. It's a basic Laplace transform question, cos A T minus B. Now, okay, uh, you know, either you uh, uh, first write down the Laplace of cos A T and apply time shifting. Okay, otherwise, uh, what is the simple way you can, you know, write down cos of A T minus B. Cos A minus B is written as cos A cos B. So, cos A T cos B plus of sin A sin B plus of sin A T into sin B. Okay, now what is the Laplace transform? Now here cos B is constant. Cos A T Laplace S upon S square plus A square and cos B constant I can directly multiply the S cos B then plus sin A T Laplace A upon S square plus A square into sin B constant. I will write it as A sin B. Now check the answer. Okay, so S cos B plus A sin B upon S square plus A square. What is there? How simple it is option number A. Okay, that is anyways very simple. Okay. Okay. Engineering mathematics, basic differential equation based question it is. Okay. So, these were five questions of control. Okay. One basic Laplace. Okay. Then, okay. I will start from the beginning only. This is where we started. One basic uh, transfer function manipulation, conversion from closed loop gain to open loop gain. Okay. Basic only. Bode plot, not analysis of Bode plot, only high frequency slope. Okay. Final slope. Okay, minus 20 p minus z second. Third, uh, Rauth Hurwitz, but that to cubic. So, Rauth Hurwitz also not required if you know that cubic shortcut. So, very easy. Tick mark question directly. Okay, I mean, you know, these questions, okay, this in which little bit calculation you have to do here, but this is without pen paper tick mark. This is also without pen paper tick mark only using the cubic shortcut. Okay, this is also same. You can uh, directly, uh, you know, check it out, okay, uh, by the zeta knowledge. Okay. This one again, okay, if you know cos A minus B directly expand you get. So, easy only, directly all are direct questions only. Now, coming to this one, what they have mentioned here, if a particle moves along a straight line with velocity given by dy by dt is 1 plus y, where y is the distance travelled, okay, uh, then the time taken by the particle to travel a distance of 999. So, what is the distance? Y. And rate of change of distance or displacement is what is the velocity, okay. So, velocity is dy by dt, okay. dy by dt is 1 plus y. So, you know, it is a variable separable case dy upon 1 plus y is dt. Let us solve this differential equation and integrate both the sides after separating. 1 upon 1 plus y integral ln 1 plus y is equal to dt integral t or plus a constant of integral. Now, normally we solve this constant of integral, okay, by what? By taking initial values, by taking initial values, okay. Now, suppose that, okay, what is there? Let us assume t equal to 0, 0 distance, okay, beginning. I start, uh, you know, at t equal to 0, where I have not traveled anything. If you put this now, y 0, you will get log 1 equal to t 0 plus c. So, log 1 is also 0. So, c is 0, okay. So, that is ln 1 plus y is equal to t, okay. Now, the question is, then the time taken by the particle to travel a distance of 999, Okay, distance of 999. So, if I have to travel 999, the time taken will be ln 999 plus 1. So, let me write it as ln 1000. Okay, that is option number C. Option number C. That is the answer. Okay. That is option number C. Also, this has to be log to the base E only. This also has to be log to the base E only. Okay, yeah. 
because it's uh, natural log k. So we have taken the integral of 1 upon x, which is uh, ln x. Okay. Next one, what is there? Okay. Lambda square plus lambda q plus lambda square minus 21 lambda minus 45 is the characteristic equation of coefficient matrix A3 cross 3 in the homogeneous system Ax equal to 0. Then, now see, for any 3 cross 3 matrix, what is the standard characteristic equation you know? Lambda cube minus beta 1 lambda square plus beta 2 lambda minus beta 3 is 0, where beta 3 is actually determinant of the matrix A. Now, this is what is beta 3 factor minus beta 3. So, this means beta 3 is 45 only. Okay. So, this means that, this means that beta 3, which is determinant of A has to be 45. Okay. 45. Now, uh, what is the adjoint of adjoint A? Okay. What is adjoint of adjoint A? Now, for a moment, let us assume B as a matrix, which is adjoint of A. Okay. Now, how do you write down adjoint of A? Remember, adjoint A comes in the definition of A inverse. What is A inverse? Inverse of a matrix is given by adjoint A divided by modulus of A. Correct. Adjoint A divided by modulus of A. The adjoint A can be written as modulus of A multiplied by A inverse. Okay, that is 45 A inverse. And also, if I want modulus of this B, so here you can use modulus of adjoint A formula and determinant of adjoint A is given by the formula mod A power n minus 1. So, mod A I told you how much? 45. 45 power 3 minus 1, that is 45 square. Let it be 45 square only. At the end, we will do some calculations. Now, question is, now the question is, tell me the value of adjoint of adjoint A, right? Tell me the value of adjoint of adjoint A. Adjoint of adjoint A. Now, I told you, suppose adjoint A is the B matrix. So, now the question is adjoint B. Okay. So, like I have written adjoint A. Okay. See, adjoint A is mod A inverse. So, what should be adjoint B? Adjoint B should be written as mod B into B inverse because again B inverse is adjoint B by mod B. Okay. Now, what is modulus of B? Here I told you, 45 square. Okay. And what is B inverse? Now, B is 45A inverse. So, B inverse will be 1 upon 45. Okay. I will write like this. 45A inverse whole inverse. So, this will be 45A square and 45 inverse. 1 power will get cancelled. A inverse inverse will be A. Answer has to be 45A. Okay. But yeah, unfortunately, none of the option matching here. Okay. But answer has to be in A terms only. I think, uh, you know, uh, I then, uh, you know, uh, I check the official answer key, it is given as minus 45A. This is to be chosen, but it has to be plus 45A. Okay, but okay, you can mark it in the exam time. Okay, maybe, okay, what mistake they have done, they wanted to give this as plus 45. Okay, or by mistakely, by mistaken when, uh, you know, whoever solved this question, the exam, who set the examination, they have taken this as, you know, the determinant as minus 45. No. This sum has to be minus beta 3, where the beta 3 has the determinant. So, determinant is not minus 45, determinant of the matrix is actually plus 45. Because if you put the determinant minus 45 in these calculations, you will get the answer as minus 45. But that is also not there, okay. So, anyways, you can tick mark in the exam time, you know, uh, how to deal with such case. Okay, you go ahead with C, no problem. Answer will be in terms of A only, definitely not A square or A power 4, that is for sure, okay. Yeah, guys, so these were the only two questions, five questions from control I've shown you, only these were the two questions from uh, mathematics. Okay, guys, so if you're preparing for AEAWE examination, okay, for Genco Transco discounts, okay, AP and Telangana, you know, huge vacancies are expected. Okay, and for that uh, reason, uh, the OM Institute has also launched the online live course, okay, to guide you in this preparation. Okay, the new batch starts from November 5th. Okay, the validity of the course will be one year. The fee is 24999 And for any of the OM old student, if you have taken any of the uh, previous courses offline or online anything you get flat 30 percent uh, discount okay right and if you uh, want to travel to Hyderabad and come study with the faculties direct face to face in a competitive huge uh, sitting among huge number of aspirants yes you can also uh, you know take the uh, uh, offline courses okay the transco and discoms for Telangana AP both available the new offline batch starts November 10th at our Hyderabad center for any more queries you can contact 95156 and get all your doubts rectified okay if you are preparing for gate okay so 
uh, for gate 26 if your target is gate 26 and if you want to prepare the india under the india's ecwe best faculty team you can go for the gate 26 one year course fee 9999 for gate 26 no more new offline batches because the time is not uh, enough uh, to cover it in the uh, offline batch and then for gate 27 uh, if you are preparing for gate 27 definitely we will announce offline batches also in upcoming time but if you want to prepare at your home at your comfort okay at your place you can take the two year course for gate 27 fee 28999 okay that's it thank you thank you and uh, you know if you want more such useful videos for your preparation regarding gate isro engineering services bar a a w -E <coughs> For all of this, stay connected to the Ohm Institute YouTube channel. Yes, do not forget to subscribe the channel because you will be getting, you know, useful contents regarding your preparation, okay, on this YouTube channel. Thank you.